All right, when we left off in class, I was in the middle of talking about Simpson's rule, and uh, at this point we're going to use the formula that we derived, this formula right here, which again has the coefficient pattern of 1, 4, 2, 4, 2, all the way out to 2, 4, 1. Um, those are the coefficients of your function evaluations at your um, sub-interval endpoints. Remember, of course, that n has to be even for this to work, so let's work a problem now that involves um, actually calculating the value of an integral using Simpson's rule. So we're going to use the same integral that we were talking about before in class. Now I have to choose my n to be something other than the 5 that I used. I'm going to use n is equal to 10. Um, so I need a new delta x. Remember delta x is b minus a over n, which in our case is 2 minus 1 over 10 now. So that's 1 tenth or 0.1. And so we start with x0 is equal to the leftmost limit, that is your 1. And then x1 is going to be 1.1, x2, notice I'm adding delta x now each time is 1.2, x3 is 1.3, and I'm going to get lazy and just go all the way out to x10 would be my 2. Now Simpson's rule says that s, this one-third Simpson's rule says s sub 10 would then be delta x over 3 times f at 1 plus 4 at f at 1.1 plus 2 times f at 1.2 plus and you keep alternating the 4's and the 2's so your next to last one would be 4 times f at 1.9 plus f at 2 so actually plugging everything in I get a 0.1 divided by 3 I'm gonna write it all the way out just so we have it all the way in front of us but then we'll plug that into a calculator so this becomes 1 over 1 plus 4 times 1 over 1.1 plus 2 over 1 over 1.2 plus 4 times 1 over 1.3 plus 2 times 1 over 1.4 plus 4 times 1 over 1.5 halfway there 2 times 1 over 1.6 plus 4 times 1 over 1.7 plus 2 times 1 over 1.8 plus 4 times 1 over 1.9 and now I'm to my last value 2 here, so plus 1 over 2. And I plugged all that in my calculator already and got 0 0.693150. And in the previous video and in class, um, now I show you that that is this value in the table that we were looking at in class. That is, for n equals 10, it's the Simpson's rule, and it's the return value of 0.693. 150. Remember that the actual value is log of 2, which was 0.693147, at least two, um, three, uh, six decimal places. So the error is significantly smaller for these. And as I mentioned in class, when we were talking about the midpoint rule and uh, the trapezoid rule, we got an order 1 over n squared in the error formula. Now, First of all, we got a very large number, 180 here. But that actually is not nearly as significant as the power of the n. So this is fourth degree. Okay, Order 1 over n to the fourth, essentially, is what we have with the Simpsons rule. So what that means is that if I cut, or I should say if I double, that is multiply by 2 my number of subintervals, then that's the same as cutting my error by 1 over 2 to the 4th or 1 16th. So a doubling of your number of intervals will cut your error by a factor of 2 to the 4th, that is 16, so 1 16th of your error. That's why this thing converges so quickly and it's actually